Hey guys, welcome to another video. Back here for part two of our uh, many subsequent Zedekar Rising drafts. Uh, we ended up with a red white, uh, just kind of good stuff deck here. We ended up with, I think, only one rare, right? And Felidar Retreats. I don't think anything else, right? But we wound up with, um, you know, some good Journey to Dino Wares um, and some good uh, kind of warrior synergies or equipment synergies and also just some decent uh, warrior stuff. Um, and party stuff in general. We've got uh, Kabira Outrider, um, and I believe that's it, right? Yeah, that's the only... So, oh, sorry, I'm Mary Captain. Um, so both of those, you know, kind of a little bit, and then also Shatter Skull Minotaur, uh, which is just a fine card on its own. Really doesn't need that much. Like, I don't mind paying 5 mana or 4 mana for this, so you really don't need that much for it. Oh, I forgot about our, our uh, uh, beetle, beetle Pathway here. Um, yeah, so that's the deck. I, again, I think it's pretty good. We're currently 1-1, one and one. and uh, yeah, let's get into the game and see how many wins we can get. Uh, again, as we get into the game, uh, if you guys enjoy the content and want to see more, uh, leave a like, comment, and don't forget to subscribe to be notified when I upload new videos. Alright, um, so here is our hand, and it's not bad. Um, the question is, do we play this Kabira on turn one? I think the answer is no. I think I'd like, I don't think I'm going to be playing this Heroes Binding that soon. Um, and I could also just draw planes. So, I'm going to play our one drops here early. Um, this could theoretically let our, uh, uh, Fissure Wizard attack in. Uh, Felidar Retreat here is real nice. Oh. Alright, so there's our planes. So actually, we can just discard this mountain. Uh, let's get in there first. Okay, I don't think there's any green flashed up there. Um, do I want to discard anything? I actually think no. I actually think I like all of these cards. Yeah, actually, this is gonna be really nice because they just play something that has two health here. Just kill it. If they play the. All right. Well, that's that's not something we can kill, unfortunately. Um. So just play this and make this unblockable, right? Like I don't, I don't, I don't want to cast either of these. So sneaking guy to actually doing something here. <laughs> Kind of funny. Next turn, we're just uh, absolutely just playing Felidar Retreats and uh, going in. Marry a captain. Hmm. Alright, well, I think I'm just playing Felidar Retreat here, right? Yeah. And actually, that allows us to, to use Nahiri's Binding. To, or, uh, sorry, it could be our takedown to deal three if we want to, because we'll make a, uh, a 2 2 cat token off of it. What? That's insane! Alright, um, I guess we're not attacking here. Or, no, we're not blocking here. So it's whenever a creature you control with a counter becomes target of a spell. Lovely. So, I have to... Alright, so first we're gonna, we're gonna make a token. So if I can be or take down this... Then he gets a 1-1, one, one, and then I hear he's binding this. But I think I'm okay with that. Because I, I don't want this to get bigger. This, this, this is gonna be a problem for me down the line. Uh, and that gets rid of the... Yeah, that's... Then I can just be here he's binding the Marion Captain. No attacks. And what am I going to do next turn? Am I going to give counters or am I going to... I think I'm going to give give counters because uh, they don't make anything too big. And no blocks. Perfect. Alright. And we're going to go attacking. 
And I can actually give this, give itself unblockable. Which is hilarious. <sighs> Yikes. That's pretty good. Go on the making more cats plan. I guess here if I make make a cat, play the blade. Am I winning this race? I think now I am if I play the blade and I and I succeed in this attack. Like if this attack does damage. Alright, well. Now I'm gonna put this blade here. Hmm. So it's it's awkward now because I want to start drawing some spells. Um. Oh, that's really nice, actually. Even though, again, even though it draws our opponent some cards, we get to play some stuff, and now we actually get to. I think here we put counters and go attacking with this. Sure. And then we get to equip this onto the pack beasts. So now anything we draw, whether it's a Well, now we have to, now we have to jump right, because then if we just go to two, this is awful. Yeah, really unfortunate. That was like the worst. All right, play this as a planes. Make it to two. Equip. Uh, yeah, and hope our opponent doesn't draw anything. What? They have nothing? Uh, what is this? Deals five. So next turn, if we attack. Sure, it's fine. That's really good. Okay, wait. So let's just attack first. Okay. So play this and then equip. So this now has double strike. So three one double strike. Really good. And by the way, if we're winning this game is completely off of Phil thanks to Felidar Retreat, like the amount of spells and lands that we really like this would have been really bad. Ooh, they get to return that, and what is that? That's the cleric. Yeah, sure. Okay. That's actually, you know, fairly nice. Wow. Alright, so we draw more cards. That's pretty good. This is already a warrior, right? So we don't need to play that first. If I attack, they trade both of their dudes. But then I have this. So yeah, I think I'm okay. If they want to trade. That's not what you want to see. Uh, I'm going to play this. Am I going to... I'm going to Royal Eruption. I don't think so. If I draw a land... To trigger the Felidar. Aw, oh, and our, our opponent doesn't even let us know how the game would have gone. Oh, dang. Um, Felidar Retreat. Good card. Alright, second game of the day, and this hand is not horrible. Let's say not horrible. Is it a keep? I think so. I think I want to see how good Pack Beast is um, just playing it as a two drop. And we have Tricky to Nowhere, so... Hmm. I don't know. It's a good question. Um, ooh, we're also on the play. So now I think because we're on the play, this is definitely fine.
Because now if we draw any um, two or lower CMC card in our deck. Ooh, also that's nice because I get to play that as a red source. But I'm not going to play it just yet. Again, if I draw a mountain, I'd much rather save it. But I, 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 I totally expect to just play this next turn as a red source. So it's fine. And that's actually pretty good here because now this turns our two mana uh, beater into a... Or sorry, a, a two power beater into a four power beater. Which is... Or just a five power beater? Let's get it on. Like I'm, I'm not, I'm not taking any pause here. Suit it up, suit it up, and ship it. Like wow. And next turn we have a journey to oblivion. For if they ever get anything um, that can block this. Oh no! Wait. Do I journey to oblivion this thing? <laughs> I have to think about this. I don't think so. I, I I think that's a bad move. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna pass. Like if I draw any creature, it's just gonna be like kind of a waste, right? That is a pretty good card. Give them indestructible or hex proof. It's, per it's only creatures, right? Yeah, it's only creatures. Right. Really, not what I wanted here. Um, let's just flick or something, right? Or, or target non land permanent or opponent controls. And you can't attack or activate abilities. Okay, so you can do that to like our equipment, but like that's that's fine. So we're taking four, maybe seven next turn. Or sorry, four, maybe six. Cause they could pump it, but I don't see them doing it. It's uh it's not a great line. I don't think this hand was bad, I think it just it needed to draw creatures, which it did not do, unfortunately. You draw three creatures and they've been lands. Uh, they've been lands and, and utility knife. <laughs> which is, again, like, that's why I really prefer not to kind of be uh, the kind of thing where you're going to be uh, picking, picking these uh, awkward cards like equipments. And even though these are the best kinds of, equi of equipments we've ever had, they're still reliant on having uh, creatures out. Uh, I, 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 I have no idea what to do. I am completely lost. Uh, I'm just going to keep on passing. I should say good game too, because I've had several games of just not, not playing either of my spells here. Like, now I don't even need to play this as a land, because I just have so many lands, which is... Uh, you could say it's positive, but... Uh. So they need... Uh, well, there's the Cleric. I was about to say they need a Cleric. But there's one. Alright, hey, one more creature to get full party. They need a... Um, what do you need? Wizard, war they have warrior, cleric, wizard, rogue. That's what <laughs> they need a rogue. Uh, I don't know of any blue white rogues. Come on. More clerics. 
yeah, I don't, I don't know if it's, oh, no, no, there are some blue ropes. There's the Laporte, uh, guy. So there are definitely blue ropes. Alright, cool. I don't know what to do. I think I'm casting this now on Linvala. Uh, but I don't have a lot else. Actually, wait, am I just dead if I don't target this? How much damage is... Well, they also probably just activate that response. So I, I, gotta get, I gotta get rid of this anyways. <sighs> Excuse me. Yep. Uh, big sad. I'm going to yes, they they pump everything. So this would be seven. So no, they're they're one off. Utility knife lethal? <laughs> oh wow, they're actually gonna activate it? Yeah, I, I, I think that just puts me dead because uh, unless I draw a really good creature here, um, I don't think I'm winning. You know what? This gives me two draws. Alright, cool, we're dead. <laughs> it gave me hope. Stupid far stupid far side of death making me think I had a chance. <laughs> Alright, so we are two and two. Which again for for how the deck turned out, I think I'm okay with. Uh if we can get one more win, I'll be happy. Um yeah, I don't think this deck I think this deck is heavily relying on Felidar Retreat or being aggressive or getting out ahead. Um I don't think it has enough stuff to play from behind. And that's the party. The problem with the party cards is that they are kind of win more cards when you have your wizards, you have your your your, your, your other creature types out, um, and you just get to cast stuff for cheap where you get to have really powerful cards. Whereas if your opponent is struggling to get the um, creature types onto the battlefield and you're removing them or you're putting pressure on them, then they're in a worse spot. See, now we don't have enough lands. I think this hand is way too good. I think if I draw a single land... Oh, we're on the play. I have to mulligan this. And now this hand's worse. I have to mulligan to five. Alright. I'm gonna put back this and Journey to Oblivion. We have cheap cards. Let's put this so that it's sooner in our library. But, man, that's disappointing. Um... Here is a 2 mana 3 1. Ooh. Um, so actually, I don't even actually need this. Uh, or, sorry, need this uh, sword, so I'm just gonna attack. If they wanna block, they can block. Yeah. I mean, like, uh, like a th that, that, that creature dies to basically anything, so might as well. Okay, they play a step length, which is fine. Okay, actually, I'm gonna play this first before I play the captain. I don't want to play this this royal eruption on a, a, a two mana two one. That's sometimes a two three. I would like to do it on that. Um, am I going to do that? I think I'm. I'm actually going to play the Ameri captain first because it makes better use of the mana. This can only get to a three one. All right, sorry. This can only get to a three three. There's no way. Because it, it's only the first time, so there's no way for them for it to be, get past Royal Eruption unless they play something like a, a, a Pump Spell or something like that. Hmm. So if I do this, it becomes 4-3. So I'm actually fine with this, because then it lets me get in. I really like Kabir Outrider. I just like the way that it feels. It feels like, uh, like it does what it should. Uh, I think this card is better than people give it credit. Like people look at this, ah, four mana four three. Uh, it's not great, but I, I, I think I think it's better than it looks. All right, so there's the cleric. He gets the two three three. That's fine. Please attack me. Please attack me. I would be like, I'd be so happy if you attack me there. All right, I'm gonna royal eruption. The cleric. Um, and I guess I'll get in with the Kabir Outrider. I kind of have to put pressure. I'm fine trading. 
I guess I'm trading my four drop for the three drop. Great. But they actually just don't block. I think if they attack here, I'll block with the path piece. Expedition healer. Sure. Got some life thing stuff. And I have lands. <sighs> Yep, I, I agree with this attack. There's no reason to attack with anything else. Um, yep, dealing us two damage a turn. Alright, I like this. Gives us another party uh, type. And we to draw a card. Alright, I'm going to play the Raptor here, but I'm not going to bounce anything. There's no reason to. I guess if I draw Felidar Retreat. Actually, yeah, I'm actually going to bounce Felidar Retreat. Like, I, I, I'm top decking stuff here, so yeah, that's so I think kind of one of the rare cases where, even though I, like, this, this just absolutely nothing here, um, it's probably good to bounce it. Yeah, if I draw Felidar Retreat, I'm going to really want to have bounced this land, whereas if I draw any other spell, it doesn't matter, and if I draw a land, it also doesn't matter. So, that's kind of like that 1% thing here. Oh, man! Disenchant in the main deck? Our opponent's big brain here. And are doing big damage to me. Nice. Alright, well, we stemmed some of the bleeding here. Okay, there's a Journey to Oblivion, which we can use to get rid of this Marauding Light Priest, which is gonna deal us some damage. Which I'm okay with. Yeah, I think I'm, I think I'm gonna do that. As weird as that is, like, I think we need to use our mana. And. Yeah, that, that, that's kind of all I got. Use, use our mana. <laughs> Huh, what can we draw? Uh, you know what I really wish I had? The McKindy uh, Stampede. The um, 5 mana plus 2 plus 2, that's a spell land. Oh, I would have much rather targeted that. Oh, that's gonna be the death of us. That's gonna be so good. They get to cash in this stuff, uh, this, this Mesa Links for an actual card. Are they actually t attacking with this? So they probably have the subtle strike, the 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 plus two plus one, or they could just be wanting to draw a card. I'm not gonna block here, actually. I think I need to draw Felidar retreat, or maybe like another far sight adept would be really nice here. All right, Fisher was. Wait, okay, so this is another reason to, to, to bounce a land, and now I have a card in my hand to discard. <laughs> it's crazy. Ooh, um, Prowling Felidar. I will actually play here. And this is funny, because now I don't have the land anymore, but um, that's fine. Um, I think I'm just attacking with the, with the Raptor, right? So we're if this if this tra if this trade off continues, it basically means that each of us lose one life a turn because uh, oh man. All right, well now that pattern has been broken, so that was pointless. Oh, they got a lot of stuff. Hmm. The positive thing is that pretty much anything I draw from this point does something. Like that technically does something, so um, it's a positive. Um, I, I, I'm just not attacking, right? I, I, I can't. I kind of just have to wait until my stuff, my 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 Felidar gets big enough, or something. Until if I draw like Kabiria takedown or some more removal, maybe I can get rid of something. I'm not even sure what I get rid of at this point. This was a good mulligan to five, at least. Like, like I, I think that for a mulligan to five, this deck performed really well, right? This was a mulligan to five, yeah. So, um, it's nice to see that. Um, and I definitely think, given on what our, on what our opponent played, if we missed our second, our third land drop in that first hand, I think we would have lost this game very quickly. Hmm. 
what does this mean? This probably means again that that, that subtle strike. So I think I'm blocking here. I'm blocking here. And I think I also block here. I think I, I think I block all of these. There's no mass. Um, this also draws them a bunch of cards, right? No, no, no. It's just, it's just, it's just one. Yeah, it, it doesn't draw them cards. But I don't think there's any mass. Oh no, there is the is the plus one plus one. Oh, okay, no, that's okay. That's fine. That was always gonna get us. That was always. That doesn't get us because it just gives it indestructible, which is fine. Um, and then they can sack something. Okay, so this turned out way less bad than I thought it was gonna go. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Cool. They could have killed our prowling feather, and they did it. All right. So now I think we don't bother trying to block this, right? Because now we have a, a vigilance, a vigilance guy. So yeah, let's just get in there. Because we also have to start to put pressure. And keep our opponent's life total at a reasonable amount. And they're dealing us three in the air. Which is really... Yikes. Yep, that's what I expected. What can I draw here? That's not bad. Like... It could be worse. Uh, I'm putting this on the Outrider because I think what I'm doing here is I'm attacking with both of these and leaving back uh, something to block the healer or something because now they can't block these profitably. They can still block or block and sack it to the Vile, but that was always going to be a thing. Hmm. I think I care more about the 1-4, right? The 1-4 the body? No, I guess I care more about the f fact that it has lifelink, but I guess they're gonna they're just gonna sack one, right? Oh no, they're not. Alright. Alright, I'll equip this one to the Farsight Adept. <sighs> uh, we're dead in two turns, so... Unless I can draw something that gains me a bunch of life. Or something like that. Hmm. Yeah, Scorch Rider doesn't do it. <sighs> uh... Yeah, there's no, there's no point in uh, playing this out. Uh, you know, I, I'm pretty happy with how that game played out, given that it was a mulligan to five. Uh, but we just didn't have the, the, the stuff for the hand to, to deal with it. So, unfortunate. Uh, and that's the end of our run here, unfortunately. Um, I thought the deck was a lot better than uh, the record. I think, it, um, you know, it was definitely a fine deck. I think. Um, Maybe a little, again, still still lacking, uh, in, in all these scenarios it comes down to lacking of removal or lacking of good draws, and that's kind of why I think I don't really like these, uh, this kind of, like, uh, equipment, or trying trying to make the, these e equipments be too good, um, and also I think maybe it, uh, if I could do this over I wouldn't have take, taken the sneaking guide or stuff like that, uh, because it just makes for kind of two um, volatile draws where, like, you know, top decking this is so bad, um, and same thing with utility knife and stuff like that. So, um, like I think, I, like looking at the, the deck, literally these only things I don't like is, is the scavenger blade, the utility knife, and the sneaking guide, and like the rest of the strikes. Um, I feel like if I had other things, um, you know, like even just like um, some more removal and here's binding, or just some better kind of middle of the pack uh, curve cards like uh, th uh, three drops and, and a few more two drops that were a little bit higher quality, um, this deck would have been absolutely fine um, and much 
uh, sorry, not fine, much, like much better in uh, quality. So, anyways, that's going to do it for this video. Uh, thanks, you guys, for watching. And uh, if you're at this part again uh, and you want to see more uh, content, leave a like, comment, subscribe, look out for uh, more videos in the future, and I'll see you guys next time.